hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is sierra brooke and today for you guys i have my like maintenance routine or like my maintenance vlog i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to call it yet but i'm just going to show you guys like my maintenance that i do on like a weekly monthly bi-weekly basis um if you notice i do have on the makeup that i had on in my everyday makeup routine I just filmed that and then um, I'm going to get my nails done. Well, I'm not my nails. I actually do my nails at home. These are press-ons, believe it or not, and I've had them on for maybe, probably like I'm about to go on my third week and still look fire, like no complaints. Um, so yeah, I probably will do them this week. I'll make sure to include that in this video, um, but I'm going to go get a pedicure today and then tomorrow I'm getting my lashes refilled. I wanted to include that as well. And then whenever I decide to wash my hair, which should be soon, I'll probably do it sometime soon. I wanted to include that in here as well. And then like my waxing routine, I do wax myself at home. Um, I wax my arms and my underarms. So most of the time, I just do it here just because it's easy, I can do it, no need to pay for it. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and do the intro now because I'm gonna head to the nail salon pretty soon and I think I'm just gonna use my phone to record it, like you're not gonna be able to hear me anyway. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, <laughs> I think. I'm trying to think if that's it. Yeah, that's it, so yeah, until the next part. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to go get my toes done. I have on the shorts from Pretty Little Thing. Oops, about to fall, sorry. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. There. Okay, and then this little crop top from Zara. My little burgies, but these are not real burgies. I actually got them from Forever 21 for $12.99. And then like my little auto bag. And yeah. That's what I'm wearing. Okay, so today is Monday. Um, I got my toes done yesterday and then today I'm going to get my lashes done. I am looking a little sparse on this eye as always. Like that's, that's how it goes for me. So yeah. Um, I'm not gonna take you guys in because I just like that's like I don't know it's not something I would do honestly not right now um, maybe eventually I could do something like that but I'm just gonna show you guys the before and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I am done okay so after I got back from getting my lashes done I went ahead and decided to do my nails so um, I try to do my nails every like two or three weeks, but I'm just showing you all the products that I'm using, including the press on nails. Um, I get them from Amazon in like a six pack and it's like $15. Um, and then these are all the products that I use and I just did my nails black this time. Um, and yeah, I don't use the nail glue that comes in the press ons. I use this glue from Amazon. It's like, I think it's like a dollar and 98 and it's much better and they last three weeks. Okay, so what I'm doing so far is just like prepping my nails for the press on to stay. Um, you want to like go ahead and like push your cuticles back or trim your cuticles, whatever you like to do um, before you put the press ons on so that way they stick better and they last longer. So that's kind of what I'm doing now and then I'll go ahead and like start um, putting the press ons on but before I put them on I like to measure them out to make sure they fit my nail and then that's kind of how I do it.
Good morning guys, welcome back to, I don't know if I'm gonna call this like a maintenance vlog or like a maintenance routine, but whatever. It's been a couple of days. I did my nails, the camera cut off while I was doing my nails, but you see them? This is not my good hand, this is my, yeah, this is my good hand. I mean, it's still good, but it's like, it's a little crooked, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so the camera cut off when I was putting on the polish. So yeah, sorry about that. And then I did dye my hair black. And then I also went ahead and did like my little two strand twist that I was telling you guys about. I wouldn't really consider it like a twist out. It's just like I do my hair like normally like a wash and go and then I just um, twist it and then put these rollers on the end so it's curly. Um, yeah, I like the way that looks. Yeah, so I was gonna show you guys since I didn't show you like me doing it um, because it was just such a long process and I was scared I was gonna ruin the camera with the dye or something. So I was like, no, let me not do that. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I take it out in the morning. So I just unplaid it like this. I'm not unplaid it, untwisted, excuse me. So yeah, I just untwist it like this on all sides of my head. And just like um, separate it a little bit. I try not to separate it too much or like fluff it too much because if you do, it'll start looking frizzy and I want it to last a couple of days. Because my wash and goes do not last. Like my wash and goes last like two days like that. Back in the day, I could literally get it to last like all week, but now, no, not at all. So this is what I like to do instead. And my hair is so thick and full that it's just like huge. And I'm like, I'm not really a fan of that right now. So I like to do these because it just looks, it's not as big, like it, it looks good to me personally. Like it's my personal preference of course, but I think it looks good. So like that's one side and then of course, I will, you know, fluff it up a little. And then I'm going to show you guys, after I do this, like how I put oil on my scalp. Um, yeah. And it's in the morning before I start work. So, if my voice sounds a little different. The lighting, I'm in the bathroom. My lighting in the bathroom is not that great. We have like a yellow light here. We don't have daylight, we have... No, no, no. I think we have daylight and not like fluorescent. Yeah, so it's like a little bit more warm. So I do apologize. Yeah, I'm just gonna separate those out. And I don't know if I said already, but I will do a video showing like how I do this stuff by stuff. I just felt like it was just too much and I didn't want to mess up my camera. And then I literally did it right after I dyed my hair. So then at that point, I'm tired. Like, dyeing hair is not hard, but it, it takes so much concentration. Not so much concentration because it's black. But you have to be like super careful that you don't get all over the bathroom and the cabinets and everything here is like a light wood, like a white. So I'm like, oh no. I don't want to get black all over everything, so. Yeah, my camera keeps dying. Like, I don't understand. Like, I literally charge it for days. And then I unplug it because I'm like, it probably shouldn't be plugged up still. And then, like, now it's been plugged up for two days and it's already on an hour left. Okay. This is it. And I just kind of, you know, fluff it a little. Like that. Okay, and then this is what I do. So I take this all. I got it off Instagram and it's so good. Um, my partner, my boyfriend has been using this and I swear his hair grew like two inches, like I swear, like in a month. So I'm like, I'm gonna use it too because I paid for it. Um, I did a monthly subscription, so it comes once a month, like at the beginning of another month. Um, but okay, so it's the 10 in one growth oil. Yeah, okay. And it is, I think it's $10, yeah. And then for the subscription, it's, I think the subscription is $8 and then $2 for like tax and shipping. And it comes monthly. 
So I like to rub some on my hand and then like just massage it on the roots kind of without like fluffing the hair. I take a little bit more, a few drops and just do the same thing on the front because I cut my hair to get rid of some of that like heat damage because like honestly the type of heat damage I have there's no repairing so you, know, you just gotta let that go for me personally always do what you want to do whatever makes you feel comfortable you know do that but for me I don't like that okay and then I take a little bit more and I just put it on the ends and I feel like I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is much shinier and that's why I love black hair dye like usually I do the hair since where the camera's gonna cut off soon I usually do black or like what do they call it natural black on my hair or two in it and I was like you know what I'm going back like I've been doing that for a little bit and I'm like you know what I'm going back to jet black like black is black you got because it's just I swear it just it's my favorite hair color like it just looks so good on my skin like I look oh no and then once I get a tan it's gonna look even better and that's my fake British accent you know I'm one of those people who like starts talking in British real quick but yes okay so this is my hair okay love it I feel like my twist out turned out even better I have to show you guys how I did it I used the same products I don't know if I ever showed you the products might have might not I don't know but I'll show you guys the products and I will show you like how many twists I do I changed it usually I do four and I did eight and eight is a number eight is the magic number Okay. okay me again so I just want to show you guys my lashes when I showed you my lashes I showed them like when I was on my iPhone walking back um, but they look the exact same so these are them and uh, I might need to comb them out a little bit I think I'm okay honestly yeah, but yeah these are my lashes um, I try to go every two weeks she has been a little booked up so I've been going every three weeks but still like I have a ton of lashes left like I'm not like bald on one eye by the time I come back and I I don't do anything special I sleep on this side I try to get like one of those face masks but I literally take it off in the middle of the night so yeah she's just super good um yeah so I will put her information in the description box in case you're in Charlotte and you're thinking about getting your lashes done or you want to try someone new okay so I decided to come on the video just to like explain what I'm doing here so when I'm waxing my underarms I do it in like three sections I don't do like the whole armpit at once so I do like like the top of the armpit across the bottom and then the middle um whenever i would try to do the whole armpit it just hurt so much that i couldn't pull it off so when i split it into like the sections it's not as painful Okay, and then I know in the video I said I was going to do my arms. So I did a little bit of my arms, but then it was hurting too much that I'm just like, no. So, like, if I'm in too much pain, I'll just, like, give it up. So I will try again, or I will just nail it off. It really just depends. But I just did my armpits and then, like, my eyebrows, and that's it.
Okay, so that's everything for the video. This is my maintenance routine. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next time, bye!